We're really excited to welcome the exceptionally talented Taj Pabari. I'd like to invite you back to when you were an eight-year-old. Think about what it felt like. For me, it was a special place. I was in my bedroom, blue walls covered in world maps, and all around me, on the floor, were stacks and stacks of Lego. Now, you see, I loved Lego. Everything about it was amazing. It allowed me to create, it allowed me to do many things. However, when I was in primary school, I got into a fair amount of trouble. I was a troublesome little kid. When the teacher asked me to say, paint a picture, I used to paint the walls. When the teacher asked me to draw a picture, I used to snap the pencils. And when the teacher asked me to be quiet, you guessed it, I'd be screaming from the top of my voice. Now, that was an issue, um, obviously, but thanks to my parents and to my teachers, they identified something that I absolutely loved, and that was creativity. I loved building things. They also introduced me to the great world of technology, the big, big world of technology. Now, a few years ago, eight or eight years ago, since playing around with Lego blocks, I've created what we like to call 56. Now, 56 is not just a number. Sure, it's a number, but it's a bit more than that. 56, with regards to numerology, means opportunity. And what we want to do at 56 is gift children with the opportunity to discover the world of innovation, entrepreneurship, and computer science through our fun and creative products. Basically, what we want to do is put these sort of products into the hands of children all around the world. There you go. All around the world. So basically, what they do is what we like to call it is the Lego of the 21st century, getting children to build technology, create technology, not just use and consume it. And it's something that we think is extremely, extremely important. Now, what I wanted to do, tell you, or share with you guys today, are the few things, the gaps between school and the things that I've learned as a tech entrepreneur. Number one. Number one is how to communicate. At school, we're not taught how to communicate, how to public speak, how to feel comfortable on stage, how to hold a conversation, how to network, things that are absolutely vital in whatever field you're doing. Number two. Number two is when to challenge authority. As Arnold Schwarzenegger once said, break the rules, not the law. You can't be too well behaved, you, can, you can't be too original, if you're too well behaved. Break the rules, not the law. Now, my challenge for all of you is to do just that. Now, sometimes when the teacher says no, listen to it, but in some situations, break the law. Bra break, break the rules. No, no law, no law breaking. That would be unfortunate. Break the rules. Um, and just step outside the box, be original, break the rules. And number three, number three is a term that I was introduced to by the amazing CEO of FYA, and that is for learning. Failing plus learning. For learning. Now, I believe it's an extremely cru crucial thing to learn. Having fun whilst failing, learning whilst failing. If you accept failure, learn from it. At the end, it can be an extremely positive experience, learning from it, and it probably will be one of your biggest, biggest learning opportunities. Now, I want to leave you with one final quote today. As Albert Einstein once said, true intelligence is not about knowledge, but imagination. Thank you.